this is uh, Jay Hawk Scott again, and uh, we have just completed our third week with the refresh product uh, by Dr. Dr. Tim's Aquatics. And um, I can't say that we've made a lot of headways this week. I, I'm, it, it seemed earlier in the week that things were going really well, and um, but as the week grew longer and longer, I started to see some of the cyanobacteria coming back. Uh, I think. It says to apply this stuff once a week, and I'm wondering if it might not be better to do smaller doses more frequently to kind of keep the, it seems that as the levels of the stuff uh, breaks down in the tank, that the cyanobacteria is able to kind of regain some of its footing. But uh, uh, earlier in the week, right after we we put the stuff in there, there again seemed to be a reduction in the, and the cyanobacteria. Earlier tonight, my wife, uh, before I had a chance to make this video, actually went in and cleaned up the cyanobacteria out of the tank. And, and she did a pretty good job, but it doesn't show how much cyanobacteria we had um, uh, after this week. So, like I say, the video here is a little misleading. Um, I mean, the rocks look pretty good, and the, the sand bed looks pretty good but again I, I that's really because she cleaned it up there was a actually a good amount of right back there on that rock it seems to to build up um, right around the where there's more flow um, I don't know there's some still back on there uh, I mean there's still some in here and I think by cleaning it out tonight and then adding another dose of that stuff uh, I think that should help, but we'll see where we get to next week. I, what I may try and do is instead of, I did a full dose, and instead of waiting seven days, I may wait five days, and at five days um, do a, another dose, maybe not a full dose, but um, it, it does definitely make an impact on, on, the, stuff, on the cyanobacteria. I mean, it, it, uh, um, it really within a day or two you can see a substantial reduction in the amount of cyanobacteria in the tank I just think that we've gotten to a point where I've got to keep the levels of the waste away or the refresh I'm sorry up in the tank so that it really has time to completely remove it so but after three weeks we're definitely uh, you know significantly better than when we first started with the tank so so far, so good, and we'll just keep going with it, and uh, I'll keep documenting. Okay, this is uh, Jayhawk Scott again, and this is part, I believe, four of my review of the Dr. Tim's Refresh, um, and I've been using it to eliminate the cyanobacteria, and um, what I did a little bit differently this week over past weeks, last time... It seemed like when I put in the full dose on one day that the cyanobacteria would, would, would basically go away for a couple of days and then on day five, six, you would really start to see it coming back. So what I did was on the third day following a full dose is I gave it a third of a dose and then I waited another couple of days and, and another third of a dose. And I'm going to do another third tonight. I haven't done it yet, but um, what I have noticed is that the cyanobacteria is is not really coming back like it was before. I've got a little bit on the sand, but boy, it's a lot cleaner on the rocks than it was. And so I think keeping the levels up kind of seems to starve out the cyanobacteria and it doesn't have the nutrients that it needs to grow. Um, I mean, I don't, you can see there's a little bit on the sand. Um, and through this whole process, I have not done any water changes. Um, I have simply just put in the refresh. And then I've also used some of the, the waste away. Um, but I, I really think the stuff that's doing the work is is the refresh but as you can see on top of those rocks I hope you can see um, there's just not 
cyanobacteria that there was used to be quite a bit. There's still some down on the sand a little bit, but not nearly as thick. And we haven't done anything. I haven't cleaned, manually cleaned out the cyanobacteria like my wife did last week. So this is what it looks like after a week's period of time. We've just been cleaning the skimmer and, and uh, like I said, every couple two, three days, I put a third a dose of the refresh in there, and that seems to be working pretty good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with the change from how I was doing it before to how I'm doing it now. So um, uh, I think I'm going to continue that way, and we'll see how I am in another week. Okay, this is uh, Jayhawk Scott again, and we have just finished week number four. Uh, after um, using the Dr. Tim's refresh product. And I've changed how I'm applying it. Instead of applying a full dose once a week, I'm now applying a little bit every every two or three days. I'm applying like a third of it every two days or so. And it definitely seems to be doing better. I, Like I said, when I started this whole thing, I have not done any water changes. Um, and I've just been using the Dr. Tim stuff and the the sand has not been cleaned at all this week. All I have done is add Dr. Tim stuff. Actually my protein skimmer pump went out this week so it's been running without a protein skimmer for a couple of days. I just got a new pump in today and, and installed it but it's been going without a protein skimmer and Really, it's just Dr. Tim's. I've got a couple spots on the stand that I still see some stuff, but it's really pretty much off the rock, and and it looks really pretty good. So I think this will be my my final video in the series, but I would definitely recommend that you use the Dr. Tim's Refresh product if you've. Uh, got a problem with cyanobacteria. I have been using the Waste Away product as well. I haven't really noticed what that does, but um, like I said, during this whole time I have not done a water change. I need to do one really pretty badly. So that's probably going to take place here in the next couple of days. But right now uh, I just wanted to see what the Dr. Tim's product could do by itself without the water change and, and it really did work really well. So and that's all I got. If you got any questions, uh, please don't uh, hesitate to sit, shoot me a comment. Um, I appreciate all of my new subscribers, and uh, I've got a bunch of new videos coming out here in the near future. So I uh, hope you'll stick around and uh, maybe learn something from those, and, and give me some suggestions on what what I might be able to do better. I'm always always open to suggestions. So. This is Jayhawk Scott, and I'll catch you on the next one.